The Phoenicians originally came from what is modern-day Lebanon. They were organized into city-states, the most important of which was Tyre, whose magnificent Roman ruins are still standing. The easiest way for Phoenicians to increase their prosperity was by contact with other peoples, and the quickest route to new lands and cultures was the Mediterranean. They soon became outstanding sailors and astute traders, indeed the very best. They learned to recognize products that people wanted to acquire and those they wanted to trade. And they started sailing and trading as far back as the second millennium BC. To support their trade, they set up ports and founded colonies, built warehouses, and created a network of routes that touched on neighboring countries such as Egypt, Greece, the Magna Graecia, and Carthage in North Africa. Then they went on to reach Sardinia, the Mediterranean and Atlantic coasts of Spain, and farther south, along the coast as far as Senegal, and north to England and Ireland. A network of this size with hundreds of colonies and thousands of ships had to be well coordinated. For years, scholars speculated as to how the Phoenicians were able to communicate with each other in those remote times to organize warehouses and trade in such a variety of goods. It was the discovery of this sarcophagus of the Phoenician king Ahiram, which dates back to the 13th century BC, that enabled archaeologists to understand the reasons for such great organizational skills. Engraved on the sarcophagus is the most ancient example of writing in alphabet form. It is composed of letters and not hieroglyphics. The Phoenicians were the first to invent an alphabet, a factor that proved indispensable in establishing their great trading network. We can get an idea of how extraordinary this innovation was from this comparison. On the right, we see two Egyptian hieroglyphics, and on the left, two letters from the Phoenician alphabet, an M and an H. By assembling these letters, the reader now didn't have to interpret a concept represented by a hieroglyphic or picture. He had a specific code that always remained the same and had the same meaning for whomever was reading it. The commanders of the Phoenician fleets had to have many skills. They not only needed expert knowledge of the sea and foreign lands, but they had to know the art of trading as well, what to buy, what to sell. One precious cargo of theirs was the mythical Cedar of Lebanon, an excellent timber for building sturdy cargo vessels and warships. The timber could be bought in Baalbek, situated in the mountains that formed a backdrop to the Phoenician cities in Lebanon, 